23, verse 1, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Psalm 84, part B of verse 11, the Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. And from these verses, We are led to preach and teach about God, the same Lord God is more than enough. The idea for today, the goal for today, amen, is to convince you that God is more than enough. Thank you, God. Therefore, we pray that each of you will look, reach deep down within your condition, your self, amen, and come to believe, oh, whatever it takes to get you to believe that God is truly more than enough. The psalmist David declares that the Lord is his shepherd. And of course, we recommend the same law that was with David all of his life and even until this very moment, God still points to David. As a man after his heart. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my leader. God being your leader makes you a follower. 
will of war. And God, in the presence of Jesus Christ, says, I am the light of the world. And whosoever follows me shall not walk in darkness. If you're not walking in darkness, then you really ought not be stumbling. You have no reason. You have no excuse to stumble when you are following the leader. The leader who is the light, the leader who illuminates, makes everything brighter and those who have Followed him in the past, declare that I can see clear now because of the light. Amen. It says, He shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Oh, it don't make no difference what it is. He said, you have the light of life. Uh, those who follow Christ, those who are following, regardless of what lies ahead, if you are following Christ, then you will have the light of life. Amen. My shepherd. Uh, my God. Those who are seeking guidance. Amen. The believer are believers. Amen. Uh, Recommend God. Amen. At any time, That's right. That's right. Uh, regardless of the circumstance, we recommend God because He is a, a super leader. Amen. Now, our scripture for the day. Uh, part B says, uh, I shall not want. Okay? I, I, I shall not want, uh, meaning that uh, I shall uh, not, amen, have a need for anything. When you lack nothing, chew on that. I lack nothing. Thank you, God. Whatever I'm faced with, amen, I got it under control. Why? Because. I'm following my shepherd, God. And because I am following God, I want for nothing that I stand in need of. Oh my God, I, I'm trying my best. Amen. I, I, I'm trying my best to, to get you uh, 
to see here today that being a follower of the true uh, light of the world puts you in a position to have all of your needs met. How many? All. Oh. Oh. Now, if you believe the word, yeah. uh, then 84, 11 gives you uh, security. Yeah. All right, you are following your shepherd. Your shepherd, first of all, will... Uh, that's future. Uh -huh. Give you, number one, grace. Yeah. Yeah. Grace is an unmerited yeah. favor of God. Yeah. Now, somebody in here know what it means to have favor yeah. from God. Yeah. I said, when you have favor, from God, you can let not your heart be troubled. You, you got faith. Uh, uh, this word said, the Lord will give grace. Unmerited favor. Unmerited love of God doing what? Operating in the life of the believer. Yeah. Hey, you can walk yeah. on through trouble, heartaches, yeah. and pain. Yeah. Uh, why? Because you you got faith from God. Amen. The grace. Of God, amen, will help you fight any battle. Yeah. Yeah. You are at an advantage my, my, my. Yeah. as long as grace yeah. of God is operating yeah. in you. Somebody will testify that grace stands between the old man and the new. I, 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 I'm talking about grace will help you do what you couldn't ordinarily do. The hymn writer says that something within. Now somebody in here know what that something is. It really someone within. Amen. You know hole in the rain? Oh, even when folk push or pushes you beyond the break. And you would have said something. You would have but grace. I said, if it had not been for grace, they might have had to lock you up. Oh, yeah, yeah. You ain't forgot how to act. But grace. I mean, grace uh, intercede right at the right moment. Oh, you was about to lose your coup. Now don't act like you ain't never got right to the point and was reminded that you are a child of God and a chain. Then the lesson kind of touched on that. A change have taken place in your life since grace moved in. Y'all thank God for grace. Amen. 
the fun more for us. Oh. What does more look like? When you recognize it, if it shows up and, and get all in your face right now. More. We declare that God is more than enough to bring you from where you are right now to where you ought to be in the Lord. Come on, we're, 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 we're in worship. We're worshiping yeah. the Lord. It, it, it's not an accident that you're here. You didn't just show up. You're here for a reason. Yeah, something is going on with you on the inside. And the Holy Spirit led me before you uh, uh, arrive, yeah. amen, to let you know that wherever you are right now, for real, God is more than enough. Okay, we're going to push it a little bit. Then we got to... Thank you, God. All right. Now, now, now look at yourself. You don't want to stay where you are. Unless you are already saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. See, see, some of us are, are witnesses. Amen? To the word and to the truth and that Jesus is real. Praise God. Amen. Uh, if you need more joy, if you need to be saved, if you need a, a holy life, God is more than enough. All right, let's stop. God is greater, underline greater, greater in quantity, common quality, common value, and spirit. Four distinct behaviors and every one of them is active in your life right now. Thank you, Lord. As we speak, God is greater. Greater. I declare that you can search the whole world over and you will not find greater than God. Amen. Saving you some trouble. I'm saving you a whole lot of time, efforts, money. Amen. Yet God recommends, suggests that you try it all. Search. Yeah, now that's God. Yeah, uh, God said, choose among every, uh, any group, uh, all of them, pull them all, call them all, and, and, and he will show you a greater What more will it take? 
I mean, he shows you uh, the proof. If you believe the word, then what, what more, what greater word than this? It's going to give you grace, going to give you glory. Yeah. Amen. He's going to lead you. He is the light. Yeah. Amen. You, you will have a, a need for nothing. You have confidence. Amen. That whatever is going on in my life, I can call Jesus. Amen. Have mercy. Amen. Ah, greater mm -hmm. in quantity. In short, God is not short on anything. Amen. It, it can't run out of nothing. Amen. Everybody else you know runs short. Yeah. You may be one of them who, who've given you all. You've given your best. You give and you give and you and you give and you give and time you have a need, ain't nobody got nothing. Can't nobody do nothing. Nothing but excuse. Can't seem to get no help from nowhere. You know you're giving your all. Amen. But I'm telling you, God, out of all he gives, he, he still, he, he told that woman at the well. Amen. If you drink of this water, you won't have to keep coming here. Oh, what a blessing. If you only knew to whom you were talking to, you are talking to the all that you need. Oh, God. To hold a conversation with all that I need. I'm just asking you to consider, to think. If you can find greater, go for it. But I'm telling you right now, there is no greater. Uh, uh, he's more there. Amen. And then when we speak of quality, uh, he's better than. Ain't nothing nobody put together better than. He's more powerful if it's power that you need. And he got something greater than power. A lot of people are power stroke. You know what I mean? But he tells you, Zachariah is not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. Says the Lord. Amen. Yeah. By my spirit. Yeah. Oh God. Glory. Uh, yeah. uh, there is no other name. Yeah. Given under heaven whereby we may be saved other than yeah. the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ain't no other name. Ain't no other way you can be saved. He says, I am the door that leadeth to God. You can't get to God except you come by me. To try any other way qualifies you for a thief. A rogue, you climb, climb in some other way. And many, 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 many church members are trying to church it out. Not saying name on the road. Trying to work.
work it out. You can't preach your way to heaven. You must be born again. Every person uh, must come through by Jesus the Christ. Again, try all of the rest. Try and work yourself into a nervous wreck. And still you're going to have to come through by Jesus. Oh God, there's more. Praise God. Value. He is worthy to be praised. More than would. Amen. Try calling on him from your heart. Just keep calling him. Keep calling him regardless of what folk are saying. Keep calling on Jesus. And you too will discover that he is more. You like me and many other love mom and daddy. Yeah. Amen. Uh, but but God is more. Yeah. More than your closest friend. Yeah. Amen. Uh, again, you are invited to choose from any group. And there are many, many groups, many voices calling out, uh, trying to convince us to follow them. And, and, and the Lord said, uh, try them. Amen. If you so desire. In fact, his disciples said, look, there they are down there worshiping. But they are not a part of us. Shall we go down and, and chase them off? Huh. And, and, and he said, no. We got to stop doing stuff that the Holy Ghost didn't lead us to do. God ain't gave us no license to judge. Nobody. Nobody. Judge nothing before time. He said, if they are not of God, whatever they are doing ain't gonna last. Amen. Amen. You ain't got to worry about it. Amen. Amen. It'll be there for a season. Yeah. Yeah. And after a while, uh -huh. it will be the only thing that's going to stand is the word of God. When are you going to believe that? It's real. Oh, God is real. There is not a single need that you could possibly have that isn't addressed by the word of God. The hymn writer says, no, not one. No, not one. You can't come up with nothing and prove it. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Amen. Amen. You can make up stuff, but yeah. it won't stand. Yeah. You can hire false witness yeah. to stand with you to tell a lie, yeah. uh, but it won't stand. They're going to get the law all upside down and all turn around and the judge ain't going to believe it. Amen, according to the word. Amen. Because see, what you've got to understand is that the word became flesh. That's right, that's right. Jesus. You're talking to the word when you talk to God. Now, how are you going to fool the word that was here in the beginning? 
that was always here. The word. No matter what hardships you are facing right now. That's right. Right now. Jesus is more than enough. Jesus, God the Son, Jesus, God the Holy Ghost, God the Father. No matter how many problems you might have or uh, uh, how long you've had yeah. them, God is more than enough to conquer all of them. You may be deeply involved in some sin issue that is about to take you down. Got you all stressed out and, and messed up. You know it was wrong when you started it, but that's beside the point. It got you all told up. But God, a man is more than enough. No matter how uh, it is dealing with you, Jesus still invites you to come yeah. unto him and he will in no wise cast you out. Hey Amen. How can you reject him? And why would you reject someone uh, who is seeking your soul salvation? Hey Amen. You ought to allow him uh, to freely save you and to meet you at the point of your hurt. Amen. Amen. Meaning you are not trying to hide anything. Here I am, Lord, just as I am tired of faking it. I'm tired of trying to hide. Amen. Thank God for your witness. David. Same David that said the Lord is my shepherd is now saying I was young. Like some of you. Amen. Uh, some of you think uh, we are just old fogey and and talking out of our head. But David said, I was young, but now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous uh, forsaken. I've never seen children beg for bread. Amen. Uh, he says, when I was a boy yeah. keeping my father's flock. Oh, yeah. Along came a lion yeah. and a bear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> took one of my father's lambs. Uh -huh. With God's help, yeah. I went after the lion yeah. and the bear. Yeah. Amen. The same Lord that delivered me out of the paws of the lion and out of the paws of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. Yes, he will. He will. He's more than enough. The Lord is my shepherd. Will a man meet my every need? Will you let him be your shepherd? A man uh, then call him up. Glory, hallelujah. Whatever your need, call him up. Ain't nothing too hard 
for God. Call him if you want your soul saved. Call Jesus. Call him. He will meet you at your hurt. He will give you grace. Uh, to fight with, to stand with, to become who you ought to be. God will give you glory uh, to have joy, even in times like these. Yes, you can have joy. He's the only one. A man can uh, calls you, amen, to become who you ought to be. Even in a walk, he'll teach you how uh, to overcome the enemy. And it brings joy knowing that you are an overcomer of whatever and whomever. Oh, had to now. Uh, he'll feed you right in the presence of your enemy. I'm talking about the Lord who is our shepherd. I recommend him to you. Whatever your condition, you don't have to tell nobody else nothing, but receive him as your savior and as your Lord, he'll lead you from one good degree of grace to another. Ah, the Lord can do it. No man.